We, we standing up for Jack Jack over here. No, I but y'all, I went to go get some food and the nigga had no food in his fridge, so I got a piece of gum. So this gonna be my food right now. But real shit though, no, I'm not gonna do no ASMR because I, I know that shit be annoying, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Hold on, let me chew the, let me chew the, let me get the good part out the way, bro. Pause, pause. I got the good part of the way, bro. Let's watch this bitch, man. When suspects outsmart the police. Have y'all ever outsmarted the police? Right to identify you. You okay. Let's go, nigga. Right. Then you can search up my face and you can search up my record. Okay. There's a prison here? Yeah. They out here finesse the police, bro. Catch your killers. What the hell? Cops are skilled professionals trained to sense trouble. But what happens when these law enforcement experts find themselves outsmarted right before their eyes? I promise you, I'm not no damn prison escape. Baby. You'd have done run by now. <laughs> Here are five instances of cops. Yeah, you heard that laugh. He said, <laughs> starting with the case of Richard McNair. That's that guilty laugh, nigga. With Officer Carl Bordelon. Officer Bordelon stopped him while Richard was running on a railroad track near Ball, Louisiana. Officer Bordelon had received information about a prison break, and he wanted to ensure that Richard hadn't seen anyone or if he was the individual Officer Bordelon was looking for. Oh, you, shit. you live around here, boy? No. Where you live at? Down the road by your uh, Oh, Pavel. Uh-huh. Okay. Do you have any form of identification? That nigga's you know? nervous. What's your name? Robert Jones. Robert Jones? Uh-huh. Why I'm not supposed to be on the tracks? No, that's not the problem right he now. Said Robert you, Jones. What's your address? I don't have an address. I'm at the hotel. We're working on uh, houses and stuff like that. The roofing. Uh. Yep. Right from the beginning of the conversation, Richard that attempts to project the air without of calmness man. and composure while interacting with the officer. He conscientiously responds to each question, but there's a noticeable lack of conviction in his answers. When asked about his residence, Richard responds with a vague down the road, leaving the officer intrigue. He said down Sensing the road. Sensing evasion, Richard quickly adds that he's a worker on a project, possibly deflecting from his lack of area familiarity, and to heighten the intrigue, he throws in living in a hotel. Weaving an alternative narrative to sidestep scrutiny, that, these subtle moves reveal Richard's calculated effort to keep up a facade of normalcy. What is? We got an escapee. Oh shit! <laughs> he said, "Oh shit, man." Where from? Uh, prison. Couldn't be me. There's a prison here? Yeah. Huh. Man, it's hot. Subject wore glasses. Nothing about glasses. Can you find out? I'm out with a white male on the tracks at uh, Gilly Williams. Remaining composed, Richard provides that the nigga officer with ten toes down, nigga. And maintains a relaxed demeanor to avoid appearing anxious or unsettled. When the officer tells Richard we got an escapee, Richard, instead of reacting with alarm, stays calm and maintains his facade of innocence. Bro, you his ground, man. There's a prison here. You gotta let him free after that. To the officer, the Robert Jones that oh, he is talking to, he is in fact Richard, the escapee from prison, the very person the officer is looking for. Any tattoos or anything? Yeah. Look it over. No, no, I'm just. No, he's clean. Oh, I'm 50 years old. <laughs> how old is your guy? 50. You know how old? 50. I was born in 56. He was born in 56. 58. He's jumping and shit, man. Uh, any kind of details you can give me, huh? Uh, what color eyes you got? Green. Well, kind of a turquoise blue. Turquoise blue? Yeah. It matches the description, I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Call my little brother, man. Do I? No, it's not. <laughs> no. You over there no, laughing and uh, shit. Short, short hair. My guy's got skin cut hair. He's got a beard. Well, a uh, goatee like. While many guilty suspects typically He's respond probably changed his whole appearance as soon as he, facing the police, as soon as he escaped. Took a different approach. He was intent on presenting himself as an ordinary individual, providing fur responses and even making jokes with the officer. I guarantee I'm not no You know the bad thing about it? What's that? You'll match it up to him. Oh, <laughs> shit! That sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, what are you saying at? That, uh, they got him? Spiel or Titus in? Titus in? Little old. Little old. Uh, Where's that at? I don't even know the address. We just got into town about a week oh, ago. Oh, shit, bro. He's he getting caught up. He's getting oh, caught up. About 12 miles a day. Where'd he drop you off at? Up there on that road by, uh, there's some construction going on up there in house. Uh -huh. And he dropped me off. And, uh, he'll be back to the hotel in about probably 10 minutes. Oh, he needs to start minutes. running right now. Who do y'all work for? 
It's his. It's his. Uh, 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 I know what's uh, name. Uh, uh, stop stuttering, nigga. Okay. Did you go through a briar patch or something? Well, yeah, roofing. I always roofing shorts and cut my uh, scratching up on. No, you went through that barbed wire. That's why your knees are all cut up. Yeah. Or y'all got pads? Huh? Y'all wear pads? Hell no. Too hot. They rub your, the pads rub your back of your legs and stuff. Mm. Um, that's sus, nigga. Where are you from? Huh? Where originally? Dallas, Texas. I mean, that's where you y'all yeah, stay. That's where at. we're out of. Out of Dallas, Texas. But where are you from, and though, nigga? Jimmy Jones. While talking with Jimmy Richard, Jones. Carl noticed cuts on Richard's knees. I thought he said Robert Jones. Wire during the escape. However, Richard dispelled suspicions by claiming the cuts were from construction work. Jimmy Jones. That nigga. Despite that's a subway shop. Officer Carl. That's a sandwich shop. Richard's story. Another major red flag that the officer seemed to have missed was when asked Richard his name again. He provided a completely different one, Jimmy Jones. I told y'all, bro. This inconsistency should have been a dead giveaway, but Officer Carl didn't seem to notice it. Now, I could, uh, when I crossed the tracks down there, I saw you running. I said, well, how lucky can I be? <laughs> Where's y'all's motel at? Who's lucky, okay. nigga? You just playing dumb right now. It's like I say, uh, fuel always drives. Okay, Walmart's right there. Go right at Walmart. And there's a road, that, is it 165? Right. 165 that goes south, and we're about two blocks. We block. Okay. Man, this dude's acting is on point. Little old, tiny hotel. I mean, kind of. Old, but it, and the it's family owned. Little old, tiny hotel. Yeah, you know, like a motel deal. You park up there. I promise you, I'm not no damn Christian escape. Either. You'd have done run by now. <laughs> You know that yourself. <laughs> You'd have done wrong by now. It's that guilty well, ass laugh, man. I'm sorry to have to hold you up, but hey, no, I'm just doing my job, man. No, you are. But um, yeah, just you took a drink of that water. You probably get stopped again, okay? No, like, you gonna you gonna get out of there as fast as possible. Cell phone number so I can have whoever call you. Just call. You got a cell phone with you? No, hell no, I don't. Even did have he a just? Cell phone or anything. Did that nigga just ask the cop for his cell phone number? What the fuck, bro? Call 911 is all you got to do. Get your hold dumb ass up out of there. Alrighty, That's hey. our quick line there. Have a good day now. Be careful, buddy. Thank you. All right. This uh, was the he's last gone. Time Richard was seen for the next 18 months. However, later in October 2007, oh, Richard shit. was finally caught and apprehended in New Brunswick what? after he was identified driving a stolen vehicle. Richard might have gotten lucky with his escape, however, the same he cannot be said about the next person. He was free for 18 months? Come. That nigga was chilling. Hey. October 18, 2019, oh, he's gone. year old Quantrell was arrested from his classroom at Quantrell, that nigga, High that nigga was of gone. In an August 1st assault. He was brought in for questioning in the Rock County Sheriff's Office and placed in the interview room. However, oh, as soon as the teenager entered the room, it became clear that he had no intention of staying. What's about to happen, bro? Quantrell, don't do it, bro. Don't do it, bro. Finna jump out that window, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He gone! Quantrell's gone, bro! As soon as the detective leaves him, Quantrell scans the room and finds a window. Without thinking twice, he opens the blinds and pushes the window before I diving. I bet his hat stayed on, too. Feet up. CCTV outside the building capture him making a run for it. Oh, he's gone, man. He's a runner. He's a track star. Despite having several hey, CCTV cameras around the sheriff's office, no one noticed the absence of the suspect for at least the next 14 minutes. As the detective enters the room to Crazy, start the interrogation, it he takes that? a second to process what happened before he can react. That nigga was running with the cuffs on like this. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, he's gone. Police frantically started looking for Quantra. That nigga Nothing was running with his with his hands behind the back online. the whole time. Don't spend another dime on Amazon until you trail and it was only three hours before he would be found again, hiding in his friend's house. At the end of the day, all Quantrell achieved from trying to escape oh, was five more go. years behind bars for escaping police custody. However, Currentrell wasn't the only one who was daring enough to escape from the police. Who oh, else? Who else we got? On March 7th, 2022, uh, Joe Sanchez Delgado, a 41-year-old facing drug trafficking charges, was escorted to a courtroom in Little Rock for a routine appearance. He was seen wearing a neck brace and Dr. using Phil a wheelchair, wheelchair due man. to injuries he supposedly sustained during his arrest. However, as you'll see, Joel wasn't actually injured. The wheelchair was a calculated move to outsmart the authorities. Mm, that nigga's smart. What's about to happen, bro? He's gone after this. 
Oh. He's gone after that. Oh, he's out there. Oh, he's gone. That nigga did a silent run. He said, mm, I'm not injured. Fuck that wheelchair. Oh, I'm gonna catch you, baby. Bro, that, cop is, that cop is that cop looked like he lagging it in real life. You know how you lagging in GTA and 2K? Creating a distraction that, that nigga doing that shit in real life. That nigga said out of the chair and sprint away with the officer. That nigga was going negative one miles per hour. He said, his radio, I'm gonna catch you, baby. Call for backup or alert his colleagues, giving Joel jumped over the shit like Black Panther and shit. Look, he gone. Officer instead of an entire Ugh. squad. Look, he's still on the sidewalk. Right, can you call the police for me? Call the police for me. Hey, call the police. I thought you was the police. What happened? This way. Go. Oh. Where's your dispatcher? You got your phone? God damn. Joel successfully outran him. The officer being unable to contact backup gave Joel extra time to distance himself from the police. Yeah, he got to get fired after that. Down and cut that way. What's you in your phone? Oh man. My damn radio came out. Hold on. He's asking a civilian for his phone. Damn, I would have said, I don't see shit. I don't know where he went. Although the officer eventually informed his colleagues using a civilian's phone, it was too late. Joel had already hopped into a cab and made his escape, leaving the officer powerless at that moment. How do you catch a cab that fast, my nigga? And how was he going to get out the cab? He don't got no money on him. This shit don't make no sense, bruh. And I tried to get him. Hello? Hey, who? The wheelchair dude got up and ran. Yeah, I couldn't catch his ass. And my radio was in the mother. I had my camera on though. The wheelchair dude. I couldn't catch him. Till they had pulled off. Joel's freedom, however, was short-lived as just a few hours later, he was caught and charged with felony escape, which will add five more years to his sentence along with other charges. They got added and five more to him. Now, after a taxi cab oh, they got him. 65th Street. Oh, yeah. See, he had the money for it. I told y'all, bro. 41 year old is being wheeled into an ambulance, claiming this to nigga, be bro. injured. He gonna run again to walk. Is that Mr. Beast, bro? He caught that taxi cab outside a hotel along Broadway. He's expected to face escape charges. Laura, I'm told he's back in the Pulaski County Jail tonight, and I'm told he was booked in while in a wheelchair yet again. While Joel was convicted because of his criminal past, what happens when the only criminal involved in a police encounter is the police themselves? If you try and come past me, you're going to go on the ground face first. Do you understand okay, me? Okay, and then I'm going to file a complaint go, against you. Go grab your camera. Go grab your camera, yes. On September 29, 2019, oh, okay. police rushed to a scene sparked by a heated exchange was that, between Michael was that who was talking? and his neighbor. Trouble brewed when Michael's 15-year-old son, Jack, oh, okay, was cruising okay, okay. on a gas-powered bicycle and the neighbor, allegedly irate, issued threats of physical confrontation. Amidst the tension, a third-party e caller dropped a bombshell, gets... claiming oh, Michael had a concealed damn. gun. The sergeant relayed this startling detail over the you radio, the cops fired? setting the stage for what was meant to be a civil and consensual conversation with Michael. Can I help you? Hello, are you, uh, okay. Michael? Is the dad Hi, opening uh, the door? Yeah, uh, we're here about a... And your name? Uh, Officer Rodriguez. Uh, first name? Jim. Jim, how are you, Jim? Can and I... your name? Please. Sure. Sorry, badge number? Oh, shit. Yeah. Badge number, okay. please? Okay. It's about what, to go left, bro. I'm already knowing. that you had out here a few minutes I ago? don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Step down here for me. No, yeah. No, no. Hey. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Damn, they got him already? do anything. You just came into my house without a warrant. You're right away. Oh, shit. You just did. Is there any gun in your back pocket? I just want to make sure we're safe. We're safe. Okay, come on. I'm not coming outside. Can we call Can we talk right here? Damn, nigga. Come here, report this. Come on outside. Report this. Come outside. Jack, report this. Grab my phone and report this. Whoa, I'm injured. As the officers approach Michael, he refuses to talk oh, about the incident shit, and attempts to go back inside his house. The officers, however, without any legal They can do that to you, bro. I didn't even know that. Home after him and attempt to drag him out. Michael refuses to go outside, but now agrees to talk to the officers inside the house. Officer Rodriguez, however, either didn't hear the agreement or didn't care and continued to force him outside. At this point, Michael's son, Jack, begins recording the whole ordeal on his cell okay, phone. Okay, Jack, Jack. Hey, here we go, Jack, Jack. Hey, you guys cannot come in here without hey, a search warrant. I'm videoing. Get the phone. 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 
They gon' tase, bro. Weak ass niggas, bro. Oh my gosh. You just tased me for no reason. Stop. What are you doing? Stop. Stop. What, what am I being tamed for? Ball head ass, cop. I'm not resisting. I'm not resisting. Hey, my bro ain't even phone. resisting, bro. Don't don't take take his phone. I'm good. I'm good. I've chilled the whole time. The officer attempts to take Jack's phone away from him to stop him from recording Standing the incident. Toes, gang. Jack, follow me and record. Okay. It's a cold world we live in, gang. Give us space. I'm not. Give us space. Okay. No, what's, your space? what's your space? What's your space? Oh, he said, what's your space? Damn. Does this look like enough space? You saw the whole thing and it's all been recorded. It is. I didn't resist. I know. I didn't do it. Yeah, this shit went left quick. I didn't resist, Jack. Yeah, I have it on video. I didn't resist. But we asked you to stop, right? I did. I didn't do anything against your instructions. You came. This guy came into my house without a warrant, without any probable cause. Let me just talk for a second. I said I don't know anything, and he tackled me in my house. He told you to stop, right? He did not say anything of the sort. Officer, it's all video. It's all video. It's all video. It is. It's all on video. Yeah, they getting their ass. Fire, nigga. I'm fine. Officer, officer. I want him nowhere near me. Yes, that guy is Come crazy. on, Jack Jack. Officer. Me and you, right? okay, Fuck yeah. with Jack Jack, bro. No, no. No, he can no. talk. He can talk. No. I can talk because I was in the situation. Him? No, we're not going to arrest Okay, him. then calm down. Then just what? Okay. What? Like, well, he can talk. talk to you? He recorded the whole thing. This okay. guy is out of me. control. Okay. What's hey, your badge? What's your, what's your name? Step back. I'm look, not. Look, look, look. That's his badge number. That's his badge number. back right now. Go crazy, Jack Jack. Go crazy, Jack Jack. Stop harassing me. <laughs> I'm videoing this. You can please get out of my personal space. No. Yes. You're, you're not gonna. You're not gonna interfere get out of my with what we're doing. Space. This is my property. Bro, you're not Jack Jack, big as fuck, bro. I'm chill. I've been chill. You can record all you want. That nigga's. I'm on my property. Move out of my personal space. That nigga's probably a 6, 3, 12 year old. I'm gonna stand right here. Please move. You're in my personal space. No. What's your name? Yeah, I do not need to give you that. Yeah, you do. No, you don't. I know. In I'm, I'm involved with this, yes. But this guy yep. threatened me and called the cops on you. And what's your what's your badge number? What's your name? That nigga's what's name is number? Thor. That's Thor, nigga. Badge number. That says name. 3K12. Okay. Now, what's your name? Yeah, I'm give it up, nigga. I'm not making any statements. You're not making any statements? Nope. Okay, I have the right to identify you. You understand okay. that, right? Then you can search up my face and you can search up my record. Okay. <laughs> he got a record? Okay. Jack Jack got a record? Am I detained? You're detained. For what reason? What? What? You know what? That guy threatening to... me? Why isn't that guy going to jail? That guy threatened to beat me in his ass. So that's, why aren't you guys arresting him? That's not the information why are you I got. Yeah. He can just lie. Jack, yeah. we were Jack, step back and keep your Bro, these I'm cops are crazy. In my space and this guy's just touching me. I didn't touch you at all. I have it on video. I've been recording this whole time, buddy. Okay. Despite his young age, Jack handles the situation with impressive poise. Yeah. Yeah, Celebrate it's Jack Jack about that shit, bro. Join for twenty nine cents. Fuck you, talking about, bro. Let's right get back to it, man. Through, as he knows he doesn't have to identify himself unless suspected of criminal activity. This awareness keeps him steadfast and unintimidated by the officers. Jack continues to record his father's arrest as two officers try to block him. Do not step forward. What did hey, I just tell please you? Please get out of my space. I do not have hey, to. You cannot I'm... interfere with what we're doing. I'm not interfering when I'm on my don't, property. Don't step towards the car. I'm Damn. Not, you you did step way. towards the car. That nigga yeah. is intellectual, my nigga. That nigga is overly intellectual. He fucking up the cops right now. Okay, I, I didn't go over it. Don't. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Where are you running to? Hey, hey, hey. Back. I'm going in my house. Stay back. I'm going in. If you try and come past me, you're going to go on the ground face first. Do you understand okay, me? Okay, and then I'm going to follow. Dang. Go grab your camera. Yes. I'm allowing you to do that, but you cannot walk in my house. There you go. Okay. They violating niggas. I have three cops on me, and I'm 15 years old. He called the cops on the cops. Imagine calling the cops on the cops. That's crazy. Bicycle. Okay, that's a gas powered vehicle. You have to have a driver's license. Um, no, you don't. Yes, you do. Not when it's 50 cc and you have a permit for it. Oh, Once again, Jack is correct. Bitch ass bicycles nigga. Are not required oh. to have a license as long as they are Go get your hair transplant. Bitch ass nigga. 30 miles per hour. The officers then walk away and talk among themselves to discuss what Michael could be charged with. need a hair transplant. need to go to Turkey, man. Point, I don't even really even care what their story is. I no, mean, I'm, I believe our independent witness yeah. and, and given their demeanor, mm -hmm. 
the question is, you know, I want to talk to him to see if there's any threat with the gun, but he would have mentioned that, I'll bet. She said she didn't see it until he was walking back over here. But he said he saw it too? Oh, he, no? no, no. Okay. He didn't, so mention, she, he didn't say anything about it. Well, I good. Want, I didn't want to suggest it. I just wanted, what did you see? And that's what he told me. Bro, I want to see what Jack Jack looked like, no, bro. Didn't. Okay. Well, if he didn't threaten anyone with it, there's no... I don't no, it was just a concern for me. To, oh, no. Absolutely. But I don't think there's any reason to try to write a warrant to get in the house. No. We'll identify him through him. I'll just do TLO or whatever. Okay. And then the friend, I've got his information, their statements. I couldn't care less because they're not no. cooperative. I'll just refer to the juvenile courts if they want to screen him what? for charges. Great. And if they for don't. For the motorcycles or whatever. Yeah. Uh, they going mean, to charge him for anywhere, riding but, an e-bike? You know. Y'all some hoes. Yeah, all I would have done is talk to everybody. And it's a, he says, she said, I would have written it up and said, here's the report. That works. And then he does this garbage. So, I'm going to arrest him for uh, failure to obey a lawful command, resisting. That's crazy. Uh, disorderly. Bronum did not yeah, deserve that, bro. That's good because it got her attention too. Yeah. The surgeon dismisses Michael and Jack's side of the story, citing their demeanor. However, acknowledging Michael's concealed carry permit, they assert his entitlement to carry a gun unless he brandished it in a threatening manner. An allegation that no one, bro, I did not, not even see neighbor, a gun anyway. has made. What are they? What Meanwhile, are they talking about? Officer Proctor was taking Jackson. What are they talking the about, bro? He goes. He goes. That bike is illegal. I said, no, it's not. It's a 50 cc bicycle, and I have a permit for it. Okay. And he said, get out of the way. He was on his little road bike. He said, get out of the way. Or I'm gonna beat your ass. Oh shit. So I don't. If you guys want to believe him, and we have oh, two nigga. witnesses, he has zero. We we standing up for Jack Jack over here. No, nigga. I'm pissed off because you guys are just came about, to my house. But we tried to come here to ask a question and figure out what was going on because. What we got told is a gun was involved in this incident. So we're it's cap. It's cap. It's cap. Gun was involved. Not at all. I don't know why you have to then what beat happened? my ass. Bro. And this little I nigga, bro. It's always a little nigga, bro. He ran back with me. I closed the little ass cop, my bro. Dad. My dad was like, "Who is this?" Oh, he's got I'm, some animosity. If, if anything goes farther, I'm gonna have to call the police. He come, he walks outside to see where the guy is. Your, and, your dad. Mm -hmm. okay. And the guy comes out and he steps and he like, for instance. He walks and he goes like this. He walks right here in front of his face. So right here or like, down there? No, no, right down there. Okay. At the corner where you guys were parked down there. Okay. And he walks I would have just like reached for my like wallet, bro. That's the first thing said, I would do, bro. I'm reaching for my wallet. Because like, I got to give him my ID. Nigga, I'm from the... And two, if he steps here, more type close shit. or he touches him, he, he has the right to defend himself. And that is easily the right to defend himself. So there's no reason why he says a gun is involved. It wasn't him that said it. He doesn't even know about this. This was a completely other parties that were watching the whole thing happen. There was no gun involved. There was no gun involved. Okay. Well, I'm just saying what we were told, and it was tucked in his back waistband slash pocket, and they'd seen him as he was walking away. So that's... So I'm just telling you, we can only go off the information we're provided. I understand yeah. that. Okay? So... But we have two witnesses that were literally, like, on site, and we're telling you the truth, and he's telling you the truth. So. Michael was charged with two misdemeanors, interfering what? with an arresting officer and failure to disclose identity. Those sentences could lead to six months in jail if Franchek was convicted. In September 2021, what? Michael filed a civil lawsuit Free Michael, against Park City and the officers Michael, involved nigga. in the incident, seeking over a million dollars in a public apology. Yeah. Two of the four yeah. officers involved in the incident were terminated. While the Michael Franchek case is a clear example of police misconduct, it is not the first time they convicted an innocent civilian. It's that little the nigga, bro. I have is fr frankly conclusive and overwhelming. Okay. On August 15, 2003, Hamilton this? police arrested Michael Dixon, 37, from Another the Michael? Bus stand on suspicion of robbing a jewelry store. However, a discrepancy arose as the witness report described the suspect as a short white man, while Michael was neither short nor white. Despite this, he was taken to the Hamilton it's police. It's Black station History for Month, my nigga. Sorry, to keep you waiting, Michael. That's okay. My nigga got uh, the body going. How do y'all fuck that days. up? Uh, this is one of our interview rooms here at uh, Hamilton Police and this is audio and videotaped yeah I noticed that okay uh, you're obviously not a stupid man uh video camera said it's stupid man microphones don't microphones fall for that shit wall. don't fall Sorry, for that shit say and do is recorded Mm -hmm. That's for both of our benefit. Okay. It benefits everybody. Right off the bat, we can see that Michael adopts a forward-leaning posture, which indicates that he is confident and relaxed. Oh he shit! I'm confident and relaxed right now, nigga. The interrogation. What are you talking about? Michael has read his Miranda rights and assures that. the detective that he will be cooperative and help the detective with the investigation. You are not obliged to say anything unless you oh, wish no. to do so, but whatever you do say may be given in evidence. 
Well, that's fine, because what I have to say is I plead my innocence, so I don't mind that being. Okay. But uh, I'm just curious to know, like, how it got this far, because, as I said to you earlier in the other room, the police officers that were stopped me on the street said that they had witnesses that I... Well, in the, you, you wanted they to hate on my nigga, the bro. Events in they the hate on them, bro. They you that uh, that wasn't the right time and place to discuss it, remember right. that? yeah. Yeah. Uh, but there's one other thing I have to tell you before we discuss this, okay? Okay. And that's that if you've spoken to any police officer or to anyone with authority or if any such person has spoken to you in connection with this case, I want it clearly understood that I don't want it to influence you in making any statement. Michael tries to remind the detective of the witness report, however, for some reason, the detective decides to reject the evidence altogether. Why we're here is because earlier tonight, you that's were Richard Jefferson, bro. That nigga look like Richard, Richard Jefferson. The jewelry store on John Street South. Um... Now, the, your innocence and guilt in this, quite frankly, uh, isn't an issue. Uh, the evidence I have is, fr frankly, conclusive and overwhelming. Okay? Um, so what? So I'm not even going to ask you if you did it. What, I'm, what, what I have to ascertain here is what kind of guy you are. Okay. Um, whether, whether this is... Bro, what's like about to happen, man? Did he really do it? Burglar, and this is what you're doing all the time, or whether this is a one-off thing because of the power cut and everything that's going on tonight. That's that's a win. Oh. Um, okay. I understand oh, he's saying he did it. Here. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. And you've heard that a million times. I'm sure in your career, but it's just ask me questions. That's all I can do is answer them. I guess. I've got no questions to ask you. I mean, why, why did okay. you do it? That's that's basically Damn. That's, that's my question coming from that position and I'm and since I'm saying I didn't do it I really don't have an answer for you except to say I didn't do it well, I guess we haven't really got a really a, a great amount of talking yeah. about yeah it's it's like I said the whether you did it or not is an up for the discussion okay, bro you well, can't just um, say that though it, it's really not Michael seems confused by this statement and understandably Listen, really so, the detective shit. is bluffing. There is no evidence to suggest that Michael is the culprit even the suspect description in the witness report suggests otherwise while it may seem illegal, the police are allowed to lie during an investigation to put pressure on the suspect and force a confession out of them. Oh. In this case, however, Michael knows he's innocent well, and he's not sees voting, right through the detective's bluff. He maintains you just a different when you know. posture and eye contact, making the detective slightly uncomfortable as he switches his position and breaks eye contact. There's a number, a number of witnesses. Great. One of whom had a video camera. Perfect. Yeah. Duh. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's Get that nigga. Yeah. That's relieving. Yeah quite honest yeah so view the video camera i have okay that's why your guilt isn't in in, in an issue here so uh, bro the, the fucking detective uh, is, is bad at his job bro that's the problem camera. bro let's make a video i think it's terrible at his job we're going to enter because if i'm on the video camera that doesn't make sense you have a video camera that shows me yeah it doesn't make sense perfect sense to me uh, we'll have to i guess i have no choice but to be the lawyer then if this is the kind of thing you're going to well, go through is, with this me isn't I mean, go, this isn't going to go away you're, you're charged with breaking and you will be charged tonight that. okay you will be going to court in the morning uh charged with breaking and with intent what okay, that, that's that's what's going to happen right now can i ask you something okay are you just making this up that you have a video camera so you see how i react because <laughs> it goes that really if you're saying, okay, let me hear me out for a second, please. If I am guilty, as you believe, because you had me on video camera, then okay, we'll go through the procedure. But I'm saying, I, I, you know, trying to call your bluff here because since I know I didn't do it, there's no way I can be on the video camera. Well, like I say, this isn't so, a game, damn. It's a game of poker. Okay. The detective won't let up. He thinks that by lying to Michael about having evidence and eyewitnesses. Terrible. He can scare him into confessing a crime he, he didn't to work commit. On acne. However, Michael, steadfast in his innocence, remains unmoved, easily seeing through the web of lies the detective is weaving. He maintains his innocence for the next few minutes. Oh, he really did it? Asks him to draw out a map and specify his movements before the arrest. Every detail of his alibi was later proven. Oh, that nigga really did that shit. Maybe a dotted line that's your path. How's that? Sure. And uh, another dotted line where the where the police officers come from. There's no way. Okay, bro. this is the the tunnel, I believe, the dude. Bridge. Okay. And if he really did that shit though. Station. Let's so get him an Oscar game. North towards the lake. Uh, the no, north. Okay. And so I came here, 
the car, the EMS truck or whatever ambulance it was, was there, went off, crossed here, and crossed here. That's it. Okay, did you come straight from the bus? Yeah, absolutely. Like, I even looked, I said, maybe I should take a cab. I'm like, oh, no. Okay, so you yeah. came straight off of the bus? Yeah. And that's it. Like, the bus is... Ooh, that's it. Yeah, like, you that bus, shit. Like, maybe, what, two minutes? So how, calculated. How before you were arrested, did you, were you off of the bus? That's what I'm saying. Like, from there to there, that's, like, not even two minutes. Did you uh, go any stop or do anything uh, in the uh, in the interview? I was walking, I was trying to see in the dark and questioning, you know, like, am I going to get mugged? And that's about it. So where, where were you Where were you when you first became aware of the, the people who subsequently oh, well, were police officers? Okay, well, there's a building here in the corner. Uh, there's another building here. Bro, what the fuck is going on? Some, I think I... What is going on, I was bro? Walking. I saw a, fla a flashlight or something there. And I can hear hollering. And then someone else is here. And that person, or maybe, I don't know, maybe that person ran. I'm not sure. But uh, anyways, I was oh, approached shit. here. Is he slipping up? Okay. From the information that I've got, you, you're going to be charged tonight with breaking in. Mm -hmm. However, I do have a duty to make sure that the truth mm -hmm. is... And the truth, basically, the truth is paramount, and the true, the true version mm -hmm. of events is paramount. And I have a duty um, to investigate all of this, and I will investigate. Okay. I assure you, I'll investigate this story thoroughly, mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully, um, I'll be able to find something here right. which will either prove or disprove mm -hmm. that you're entitled to under the Constitution of Canada. This mm -hmm. is in Canada, that, bro. Uh, you treat decently. I thought and, these niggas uh, was in Europe or some shit. Out. Yeah, basically, it seems that's being doubted until proven innocent. That's, I guess, the premise here, right? From my point of view. So. Okay, so that, that's that's my the, the the things that I look for. I know. Okay, cool. Michael had to spend three days in jail and oh, had a curfew shit. for nine months three before days? all the charges were eventually dropped. Michael sued the county police and received oh, yeah. one hundred thousand dollars in damages. Yeah, my nigga was innocent, was bro. And suspended without pay. I fuck with that video. Drop it in the comment section if you ever lied to the cops before. No, I'm playing. Don't do that shit, bro. Do not do that shit, bro. Niggas is not trying to go fat over here.